Welcome to the channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to replace the old mirror on a Renault Scenic with a brand new one. So as you can see here, I've got a temporary fix, but it is quite common. Basically, that got pushed a little bit into a wall and then the bus finished it off. I'm going to remove the tape and then I'll show you in what state it is. And basically for this job, you are going to have to take the door card out and then it's just one screw and one plug. For this job, what you're going to need torque 20 and 25 flathead screwdriver and if you have a trim remover tool. If you don't care too much about your door, you can use a flathead screwdriver for that as well. First thing we are going to want to do is basically remove all of the screws from the door card so we have one in here that is a t20 we've got one that hide in there that's where your flathead screwdriver yeah this one is a t25 and then you basically need to go underneath where you are going to find one here t20 and another one here another t20 so I'm going to go ahead and remove those and I'll show you the next step once it's done. Make sure you don't lose your screws. As you can see I've only got three because my ends are not magnetic. So this one here will stay like that. But you know, just keep it there and be careful when you move the door card. So now we take our trim remover tool or if you don't have it, a screwdriver. And essentially, you basically want to come to the side and there you go as you can see it actually popped a lot easier most of it is done and in general like most door card once it's flappy like that it's just question of bringing it up a bit let's it through this angle come on and there we go Hold on to it, because obviously you have cables for your speakers, your door and stuff like that. You can let it hang a bit on basically this bit here, so behind this here. This is our connector for our mirror. And then here we go, that's the, mirror, the screw holding on to our mirror. So basically you want to unplug this. Press on there and pull up. There we go. Once you've done that, this looks like a T25 again. So let's take this one out. I think this is actually a T30, but as you can see, my T25 is doing it. And as you can see, as I unscrew it, the mirror is coming off again. Don't lose that screw, you're going to need it in a minute. Okay, so our mirror is unscrewed, but there's still some clips. So you kind of want to yank nice and hard on the way up. And then, let's see if we can get and go back to the other side. And there we go, that's the culprit. There's a little plug being stuck inside. And there we go. We are all done with the old. So now basically we want to do the same in reverse with our new mirror. So the first thing, squeeze it between your legs or whatever. Put it in. So as you can see, look, we basically want to end up in that hole there. from the top and here we go look we pull it a bit we are cold then and then essentially we put our mirror back in and here we go nice and easy so now take back our big long screw that goes into here
and you make it nice and tight you will see your mirror straightening itself there we go we take our new plug put it back on oh that got stepped in take that out so door card is the same as you remember it kind of latch onto that so we take it go from the top and squeeze it in sorry you didn't see that but it's easier to do with two hands door card is the same for the side for all the clips and stuff you just press it in there we go it's not going anywhere so now all right so now your door card is clipped back in you need your screw so remember one here is a big one this one and then the other one in the door handle two at the bottom this one here remember put the little cover back on doesn't really make any difference but you know might as well do it properly all right looking much better already but we still have the cover to put back on those ones are very easy to essentially just clip them on but as you can see it's not colored so that's a brand new part i got from ebay and they will often come unpainted i don't have that color so what i'm going to do is just paint in black shove it on there and what i'll eventually do just so the car doesn't look odd i mean they don't look great anyway is probably just uh, paint this one as well that way at least we've got some sort of symmetry but yeah this one as you can see clip 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 put it on push in and you're all good we have indicators yeah and this fell off because i didn't clip it in because i'm going to go paint it but anyway you have everything you need now to do this job yourself uh, you know really easy it took me like five minutes you know maybe 10 minutes with like preparing stuff for the video make sure i've got all the tools and stuff but yeah really quick save yourself uh, a bit of money instead of bringing that to a mechanic and then i think brand new they were only like 50 quid so you know cheap enough anyway if you want a more tutorial go check out the channel if you want to see project car as well like this and other non rat one including performance one check the channel as well uh, and if you want more subscribe like and uh, comment if you've got anything like is it the same on the grand modus because i know there is multiple versions of the modus if you know let it uh, put it in the comment please i don't have a grand modus but it might help other people looking for help thank you very much goodbye